Okay, so I just left the hotel and I have to check a couple things here down to make sure I got all my supplies, but after that, I'm headed over to a secret location to go to the Global Press Conference, and I've seen a couple screenshots of what might be there. It's a couple photos. I'm really excited. Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. I love this little mural thing. It's got all the photos in between. I think we've probably seen this one before, but it was really cool to see it like as a massive, large uh, display in front of me. This was the whole room. They had like food in the corner and then like toys on one side and then like, you know, the costumes and all the other stuff in the other corner. And then of course this giant throne uh, that you could sit in. Every one of the movie posters was also plastered and, and backlit. Um, so it was really cool to get up close and detail of, of all of these. Yeah, let's take a look at the costumes real quick. So they had everybody, um, uh, they had, you know, from Rise of Skywalker with, uh, with Rey and, and Finn and Poe, uh, Leia, Lando, Rose Tico, Jana, and uh, then we had Kylo Ren on the end. Yeah, so I got my picture with Chewbacca, which was awesome. Yeah, he was really cool and uh, did a really good job of, you know, mimicking the character, for sure. Also, BB-8 and Dio were here. Um, really cool to see both of them, uh, you know, moving around and being active and stuff. I was actually told uh, BB-8 is, is practically a uh, on-screen piece. Very detailed. So they had the whole throne there, the Emperor's throne, and I remember in an episode uh, I said that would be the prop I'd want to take home, but uh, <laughs> having gone here I quickly realized how giant that thing actually is. So Bose was there with a really cool display, and they were showcasing some new headphones, but mainly a new audio AR experience in association with the Star Wars app. So you're going to be able to go into the app and select a scene on the path of Rey's lightsaber. And when you select a scene, you'll be transported to it using your headphones and, you know, kind of this AR wherever you look kind of thing. So you can look around and hear the scene from a spectator position or jump into the perspective of a specific character or even walk around the scene like the Falcon and hear everything based on the direction you're facing and moving around. It's really awesome. They also had this like huge merch display, which was awesome. They had all sorts of like books and toys and t-shirts and other things. Some of the stuff has have already come out, but some, a lot of it was stuff that, you know, maybe you didn't even know existed. So I, I made sure to get close-ups of everything so you guys could see uh, what they were putting on display.
Now, this isn't necessarily something that you could buy, but um, you've probably seen these before. They do these full life-size uh, scale models of uh, certain characters, and they had a full Sith Trooper there uh, made out of Lego, which was pretty awesome to look at. Now the press conference was in a completely different room as you can see here. If you want to get the full details on what happened there, check the description of this video. The director, writer, producer, the man, J.J. Abrams! Now as I was leaving, I actually grabbed a goodie bag that has that interesting like leaked poster on the front. Uh, and then one of those scream sabers or like you can record your own sounds. They gave me one of those. There was a pop figure of your choice. I chose Ray. Uh, also of your choice, you could put any Star Wars emoji on a t-shirt. I chose the uh, cracked Kylo Ren mask. Pretty awesome. Uh, a Hot Wheels toy. I just happened to get that tread speeder. Pretty cool. I like that one. And uh, last but not least, there is a uh, card here to download the soundtrack when it comes out. Well, that's it guys. Uh, it was a pretty great event all in all. Uh, I actually did have the opportunity to sit down with the writer of The Rise of Skywalker, Chris Terrio, as well as the producer of the film and senior vice president of live action development and production at Lucasfilm, Michelle Rejwan. It was a great interview. We talked, uh, you know, Chris told me he had Pablo Hidalgo on speed dial. So if you wanna get some more info on that, check the description of this video. Um, as always, make sure to stay tuned to StarWarsNewsNet.com for all your Star Wars information. And uh, check me out, James Bainey, on the Resistance broadcast with John and Lacey twice a week. Um, and you can just find that on podcast channel, YouTube, wherever you're already there. So uh, make sure to subscribe and like the video, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.